Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers, Associate Professor at National University in San Diego, California. In this short presentation, I'm going to show you how to migrate quickly from eCollege to Blackboard. This tutorial is designed for FNP students who are making the transition from eCollege to Blackboard, but can be used by any student making the conversion. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to nu.octa.com, and here I'm showing you the job aid that was given to our students. But as I scroll down, what you're going to see is as you log in, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions and give you some prompts to put in some security settings. And once you get through all that, you're going to land on the your Blackboard page. To do that, if I go to my browser, again, I type in nu.octa.com, brings me to the sign-in screen. For students, you're going to put in your ID number as your username and your password and click sign in. For students, your module will look like this. Once you click on Blackboard, you'll be brought to the Blackboard screen. Your Blackboard screen will look like this. In the center is where your courses will be, and you can see I'm enrolled in a lot of courses. To the left will be announcements, to the right will be your organizations. And over here is where your course should be in your My Course area for the student orientation course. This is a very detailed area that will show you the different aspects of Blackboard, but I'm going to go over some of them very quickly today. So if we go ahead and compare the courses that you're used to, here's an eCollege course. And remember, eCollege has left-hand navigation and a lot of right-hand navigation. But here you could go to Dropbox and look to put in your assignments. You had doc sharing where you could find documents associated with the course, little live tab where you could go to Class Live Pro, and your email as well as Webography and some other items. The left-hand navigation is where you had your modules or your weeks. Blackboard is constructed in much the same way. Let me go to the similar course in Blackboard, NSG 606. But Blackboard is very strongly left-hand navigated. So you're going to spend most of your time here on the left side. Again, you have your home page, which we've landed on here. You have your course announcements, which announcements of the course were post here. Your instructor will place your syllabus and course outline here. There's a calendar area. As your instructor makes due dates for the course, they'll appear here in the calendar. There's a Blackboard Collaborate link. It's a Java-based system, so when you click on it, either to join a room or join a scheduled session, which will be listed here as your instructor schedules them, you click on that, it'll ask you to download a launcher, which will set your Java settings correctly for Collaborate. Then later you can go back and look at the recordings. Continuing on the left-hand navigation, you'll see your different weeks of the course. So in Blackboard, as you click on the week and you scroll down, there's a lot of scrolling in Blackboard because it's all in one area for you. You'll find your readings, your lectures, and most of the files will be associated right within Blackboard, so you won't have to hunt for them in doc sharing like you did in eCollege. There'll be weekly activities that'll be there that you can click on. This one is linked to a discussion board. So you can click through on your discussion board. A little different from eCollege where you had to click on discussion boards here and you would click on each one or each topic. In Blackboard you simply follow the links that are associated there. You can also go to the course tools area and go to the discussion boards from there. The discussion board has a little icon with the pin in it. If I go in this way, you can see we call this the big board. You'll see all the discussion boards, all the discussion areas for your course. Those are also linked within each week that the discussion board threads are due. The next thing you'll notice is you have course resources and this is where the old doc sharing used to be. So here you can quickly find any documents that are associated with the course. Again in Course Tools, what's interesting is there's different uh, items you'll find here. The biggest one will be My Grades, which also may be in your left-hand navigation. If you click on My Grades, it's essentially a My Progress module that tells you all the stuff that's been graded, what assignments are upcoming, your quizzes, your assignments, any papers that are due, and also anything that you've submitted. So when you enter Blackboard, if you click on that My Grades area, you'll be able to find all the stuff that's due in your course. Now the biggest thing you'll find that's different in Blackboard is submitting assignments. 
So remember, in eCollege, you did that into a Dropbox. You do a similar thing in Blackboard. Once you scroll down, so for example, here is going to be a week four assignment. Again, there's the discussion board thread, if we click on that one. If there's an assignment, you'll see a little pencil and a ruler icon. And again, you'll have any files associated with it will be there. If you can click on that assignment, it'll bring you to the submission assignment page. And here is where you can, again, have the directions. And you can write your submission. You can browse your computer. And you can submit your assignment that way. So just a little bit different from the Dropbox we were used to in eCollege. So again, Blackboard heavily left-hand navigated. Lots more functionality. If you need help, there's a Blackboard support portal, which you can search on to give you all kinds of information or help on Blackboard topics. And that'll bring you help videos as well. If you have more questions about your course, there's national university support which gives you technical support and student support services as well. Again, here you'll find lots of information about how to get the mobile app, how to use Blackboard Collaborate if you're using it, and also student concierge service that you're used to, which gives you 24-7 phone support. So again, back to the home page. And if you need further help, you can always contact your instructor. Welcome to Blackboard at National University.